Hi everyone, uh, my name is Nick Anthony and I'm a program manager with Jetpack. Hello everyone, my name is Tim Song. I'm a developer programs engineer on the Android DevRel team. Today, we're gonna to talk about migrating your app to Android X. Great, um, so before we dive in, um, it's important to ask ourselves, well, what is Android X? Um, we throw a lot of terms out there. So by a show of hands, who here has heard of Android X? Okay, by a show of hands, who here has heard of Jetpack? By a show of hands, who here has heard of the support library? Okay, by a show of hands, who here knows what the difference is between all of those? <laughs> Great, so um, for those of you, I think I caught most of the people in the room, but for those of you who need some more clarification, more clarification or may not know, um, Jetpack is the set of libraries, tools, and guidance uh, to help you uh, developers write high quality apps easier. Um, so we think of that in terms of three things, that's best practices, uh, limiting boilerplate code, and um, simplifying complex tasks. So you can focus on the code that you really care about. So how does this relate to Android X? As you can see on the slide, Android X is the package name for all libraries within Jetpack. So we think of Android X as this, uh, this is the open source project that we use to develop, test, version, and release Jetpack libraries. Now, how does this relate to support library? So if you remember back in I.O. of 2018, uh, we announced that we'd be refactoring the support library to the Android X namespace. Um, so we did this with um, support library 28. Uh, we also announced Android X 1.0. Um, and so we'll touch on that a little bit about why it's important. Um, great. So we've gotten to the point now where we kind of talked a little about what these things are. Um, and now this next question we want to ask ourselves is, why should I migrate? Why is this talk important? Why are we here? Um, so there's kind of four points we want to bring up. One is that the uh, support library is done. 28.0 was the um, last release of the android.support namespace. So this is a namespace we're no longer maintaining. So if you want um, bug fixes or new features that normally would have gone to the support library, you're going to need to go and migrate to Android X. The next thing, uh, you get some better package management. So these are kind of the reasoning why we made the refactor. Um, that's the standardized and independent versioning, um, as well as the better naming and standardized naming and more frequent releases. Um, these are kind of what you get out of the box with Android X. The third thing um, is that you're gonna, the other, some other libraries have migrated to the Android X namespace. Um, so there's some notable, in, notable players in there, as well as um, you know, Google Play Services, Firebase, um, Butterknife, uh, Mockito 2 in some cases, um, and SQL Delight. And we're gonna touch on migrating these dependencies in just a minute. The final thing we wanna point out um, is that all new libraries are coming out in Android X. Um, so we're really pushing forward on the Android X namespace. Um, and so some of you might have heard of things like Jetpack Compose uh, or Camera X. Those are gonna be in the Android X namespace and a precursor is gonna be migrating to Android X. So now we've talked about what these things are, what is Jetpack, what is Android X. We've also talked about why you should migrate. Uh, I'm gonna pass over to TM now to talk about the specifics of actually going through this migration. Thanks, Nick. So, let's go ahead and talk about how we want to migrate. But before we do that, here are some things to do to prepare your project for migration so you can have a more smoother experience. First, back up your project. Now, many of you might be using source control so that's probably okay, but just in case, make a backup of this project because the migration will change many of the files in your project. Next, we want you to try to minimize feature development during this time, and we'll cover this more in a little bit, and also try to make these migrations on a separate branch. Now, we have a recommended approach on how to migrate. Now, I know these are a lot of steps, and we'll explore these one by one. Uh, I'll explore steps one through three, and then Nick will talk about steps four and five. So first, we want to update the support library to version 28. Now, if you're on a older version of the support library, say 26 or 27, and try to make the migration all the way to Android X, well, you're probably gonna have a bad time. That's because not only will you need to address the uh, namespace changes, but also the API changes between 26, 27, 28, and Android X. 
So what we suggest is first try to update to version 28 and address all of those API changes and get your app compiling with 28. And at that point, make them jump over to Android X. Now, support library version 28 and Android X 1.0 are binary equivalent. So what does that mean? That means only the package name changes between those two versions. All the APIs are the same. So this way, you'll have probably a minimal set of things that you need to fix between uh, migrating from 28 to Android X. So now that you've migrated your app to support library 28, we next want to enable Jetifier. So what is Jetifier and why is it necessary? So Jetifier will help you uh, migrate your third-party dependencies to use Android X. Uh, what this means is that Jetifier will actually change the bytecode of those dependencies to, keep, to be compatible with your project that's using Android X. Now, Jetifier won't do a couple of things. It won't change your source code, nor will it change your migrated, uh, will it, nor will it migrate your generated code. So once, you, well, here's how to enable Jetifier in your app. You add a couple of lines to your gradle.properties files. And in here, uh, use Android X is set to true along with enable Jetifier. Now, the use Android X setting turned to true means that when you do code auto completion and you're importing libraries, uh, you'll import the Android X version of that library instead of the old support library version. All right, so moving on to step three. Once you've enabled Jetifier, We'll need to update your dependencies. So a lot of third-party dependencies may need to be updated before you actually start the migration. So here are some of the dependencies that we covered earlier, and I want to highlight a specific example. Now, one of our uh, flagship sample apps is called Plaid, and it uses the Glide image loading library. We wanted to use Plaid as an example of how to migrate over to Android X, and we discovered when we did the migration without first migrating our Glide dependency, we ran into a bunch of compilation issues. And we looked and we found that version of Glide that we were using was not Android X compatible. So what we did was we first updated Glide and our other dependencies, and then ran the Android X migration, and then that error no longer appeared. So if you can, try to update your third-party dependencies first before starting the migration. Now, if you're using a code generation library, a Jetifier won't modify these. So you might need to check if the code generation library actually is compatible with Android X. So let's look at some common errors that might happen if you skip steps two and three, of one of which is the third-party code that you're using is not compatible with Android X you'll see that it's trying to pull in the old version of the support library. Also, if you have a, a project that's partially migrated, you might get a duplicate class error where it's trying to pull in the same code from both the support library and Android X. So back over to Nick to talk about step four. Thank you. Um, so now at this point, we're gonna talk a little more about the actual source code. So we've gone through, uh, we've got support library 28. We've enabled Jetifier. We've got our dependencies in order. Uh, now we're going to go in, and uh, as of Studio 3.2 stable and above, uh, there is a handy um, migrate to Android X uh, button. So you can see under the refactor, highlighted in blue here, um, there is a migrate to Android X. And what that will do is migrate your source code. Um, and this will work for a majority of cases. Uh, now, however, we do realize that some teams may not use Studio, um, or you know, th there is some more sophisticated app architectures that our tooling can't exactly automate. Uh, so there leaves you with two options here. Um, so these options include just migrating the source code itself. And one option is to use a bash script. So this is a grep and sed, and we'll, talk, we'll see the script in just a second here in the next slide. Um, and we wanna, before we dive in there, we want a special thanks to Dan Liu for picking this up. Um, you can follow this Go link, goo.gle uh, slash AndroidX migration script, um, and that'll link you to the GitHub source page where you can see that script as well as more community contributions. So, how about that script? You can see here we have the class mapping as well as your project, and what is effectively just a grep command followed by a sed command to replace those package names. 
Uh, one thing to note when using this script, it's pretty brute force. It's a, it, is a, it is a bash script. Um, so it may do some of those migrations incorrectly in some cases. So just be aware of that when you're using this kind of, this kind of methodology. The other option is uh, get your hands dirty and do it by hand. Um, so if you go to developer.android.com, go to our Migrate to Android X page, we have an artifact mapping from the support library packages to our new ones as well as a class mapping with the same support library to Android X. Uh, and that'll let you do kind of a case-by-case -case basis so you know it's right. So at this point, if you've kind of managed to follow us along this, this long path, uh, you get your project compiling again and fix any tests that may have broken along the way, you'll have a project that's running on Android X, which is awesome. So before we end this talk, I think it's also important to talk about some issues that the community has run into. And so I'm gonna pass over to TM now to dive into those so you know about them ahead of time. So here are some issues that you might run into for your migration. So there are some things that we cannot automate. Um, so your version control files may require some manual intervention. Now let's go ahead and ex uh, see that in action. Here is your build.gradle file prior to migration. Now you'll note that we use the old support library and in here we actually extract out our version variables into its own separate section. Now, after running the migration tool, we now have our drawer layout and recycler view using the new Android X packages. But you'll notice that the version numbers are now inlined, and the variable numbers are not yet changed. So the tool does not modify this. So you'll need to manually update this as such. Let's change the drawer and recycler view versions manually to 1.0, and then we'll need to inline those variables back in. So something to be aware of. Next, the tool is enabled to uh, migrate your ProGuard and any build scripts. So if you're using these and have um, uh, package names in them, you'll need to go in and manually edit these as well. Now, earlier we talked about uh, trying to slow down development or working on separate branches. And we'll talk about this a little bit more. Uh, because so many files will need to change, we suggest that, if possible, try to slow down or stop development entirely. I know this is like a very, very big ask, asking an entire development team to stop development. But this definitely reduces the amount of merge conflicts that will happen. If you can, have a few people on your team just focus on the migration and then have everybody else to say like, hey, there's a big like, merge conflict that will, come, that will uh, happen in your future. So let them know about this ahead of time. Also, try to do the migration on a separate branch. Uh, when you're doing this migration, it's good to just focus on addressing the errors and getting your app to compile and all tests passing again. Don't try to do refactoring, or don't try to pull in new features during this time. It'll just make this uh, a lot more difficult. So when you run this migration tool, you may uh, have an alpha version or a stable version of the library, depending on the most recent release. Now here we have the support library version of AppCompat. And we run our migration tool, which migrates our AppCompat to an alpha version of the library. Now, depending on your particular needs in your project, you may want to use the alpha version or maybe you prefer stable. So this is something that you'll need to go back and manually check to see which version it migrated to and make sure that you select the version that's appropriate for your needs. And you can find more about these particular versions in the table and we'll cover that in our resources section. So we have our Android X documentation on our developer.android.com website. Uh, this covers the overview of the Android X project, our migration guide, the mapping table of the old support library to the new stable and alpha versions, and also the CSV files if you want to script your migration. We also wrote an article detailing our migration uh, to Android X in the Plaid sample project. And in here, we uncover like, the steps that we took, some of the problems that we ran across, and the solutions to those problems. And you can access that via goo.gle slash plaid-androidx-migration. 
And finally, we have the issue tracker where you can go to see uh, the issues that we're currently working on with the migration tool. Or if you like, you can create a new issue using the button at the top left of the page. So we wish you the best of luck in migrating your app to Android X. And if you're attending the conference in person, uh, please stop by our Jetpack Sandbox with any questions or any, tell us about your experience in migrating. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.